Welcome back to Solonaut Hex, everybody. Uh, today we are holding session number 300, and today's session is uh, brought to you by our patrons. Thank you very much, patrons, for your generous pledges. Thank you. Thank you. We wouldn't have dynamic lighting without you. No pledgy pledgy, no dynamic lighty lighty. Um, with this being our 300th session, uh, players, go ahead and um, click on your main character's token and hold the shift key and double click on your token. That will open up your character sheet straight from the token uh, without having to go through your journal to search for the sheet. And at this time, um, go ahead and add 3,000 experience points for showing up on time to our 300th session. That's been a, been a tradition Ooh. tradition so far at every hundredth um, session to add uh, the session number times ten <clears throat> in experience points. Okay. Uh, when last we left our heroes, uh, they were still in the desert. Ooh, a little bit of lag on Discord here. All right. I just wanted to minimize Discord. There we go. All right, uh, so when we last uh, left our heroes, they were still in the desert. Um, they had just, uh, their, uh, I guess, sieging uh, Tower of Set. Um, and uh, during the last session, um, the, pre the main priest of Set, the overseer, um, cast Unholy Word and banished uh, Varen and two other Asherahs um, back to um, Elysium. And that kind of turned the tide of the battle a little bit. Also, uh, Cirrus, um, he got backstabbed while mounted uh, and took the backstab damage, fell off of his mount, and took uh, falling damage. Um, he's currently prone. Um, his spell fizzled and um, is at the mercy of his attacker somewhat. Um, there's a lot of stuff he can still do, so... Uh, but let me put you back onto the, um, I'm going to put everyone on the internal map of the tower and then I'm going to put, um, we've got Gromnar that's still on the exterior and I think Asher is still, oh no, most of your characters are inside. Okay. Uh, so we left off mid, uh, round. And I need to change the soundtrack because um, we were fighting pretty much uh, yeah. fiends and stuff like that. So, fiends attack. And uh, according to the initiative, the next person up was Jezzy. Um, I'm, I then I need she's... the outside of the tower. Yeah. Out, please. Okay, so, Calamon. Oh, I, actually, I think outside. that she just finished her turn. Am I not right, uh, Varen? Because she handed her mace to, to Raymond. Yep, and Raymond made an attack. So, yeah. Something getting saved, yeah. So, I think her turn is over. Okay. Um, and I just remembered I needed to roll something for somebody. Uh, um, 
it was. Weird. Um There it goes. All right. Um, so next up is Boogie Will, who is going to take a uh, swipe at the um, uh, the Pit Fiend, right? Um, no, because he's not there. He's inside the tower. Oh, okay. Who did you hand off? Only one. To Raymond. Oh, okay. And um, Raymond yeah. took a swipe, right? And yeah. missed? Yep. Okay. And last that. Uh, yep. Now that I took a swipe, I think I even hit. Oh, you hit? Yeah, let's see. Uh, how much damage did it do? Uh, only nine. It did nine? Okay. Alright, so I subtracted the nine damage. Okay, and then uh, Boogie Will's on the inside, right? So I'm putting yep. Calamar back inside. Yep. Okay. Um, I see Tirana. Where? Hang on. I gotta find them on the map. Uh. Okay. Um. Yeah, he says, I don't like that. Because he looks at Brian Druid, he's been told, Who did that? I'm going to kill you now. And he rides up. And he's going to swing at the magic user. And I wonder, has this uh, mount been taught to bite? Um, you can use the the mounts attacks or the riders attacks. I'm gonna use the riders attack. He's gonna attack the 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 thing. Okay. So attack. So you're attacking the uh, the priest. Yeah. The, okay. The, the one who slowed him, who slowed Brian Druid. I I don't like him. No. <clears throat> and it's a good sure. thing you... Same elevation or higher? Uh, you have higher elevation because you're mounted. That's what I thought. Negative one for ten damage. Okay, um, yeah, that hits, and... He's just normal size, though. So. Well, actually, he takes the same damage regardless, so it doesn't matter. Okay. 
I just had to expand my chat box a little bit. All right. Uh, so, yep, you, he takes uh, 10 damage. And he screams in agony. Ah! Mugiwell says, Good! <laughs> and he roars, you know. Typical, typical mm. Mugiwell. And he goes, um, <clears throat> You will die for killing my lover. Mugiwell goes, well, I don't think so. I think you're gonna die too and go join him. <laughs> Who, who's your lover, though? I don't remember that. She, he doesn't know. <laughs> and he answers you, the Cornugan you killed. Oros yeah. wretches in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Calamar is on the outside Can you, map. You get me outside. Well, he tries to wretch. He doesn't eat, so he throws nothing up. But yeah. he's visibly disgusted by that. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, if I if I remember correctly, I cast a spell. Was it and a lightning bolt or? It was a lightning bolt. A, a one streak lightning bolt, not a two side, side by side. One that goes 80. Okay, go ahead and roll the um, the template again. Yeah. Okay, so. All right. Uh, he gets... <coughs> and then uh, go ahead and roll lightning bolt damage. Okay. And the lightning bolt, you know, shoots through him, through the uh, uh, wall of fire, and, you know, doesn't really hit anything on the other side other than, like, maybe some flies. And then you can hear them, like, pop. Pop like a... Like a bug zapper on the other side of the uh, uh, wall of fire. And he gets magic resistance and a saving throw. Yeah. But Hang on. Sorry. I, now, I, I, I was about to do it, but I was... But I... I thought I have... Okay. Okay. Casting level, and then it says class monster level 13. Does that mean I have the wrong thing selected? Yeah, you have to select um, Calamar. I could have sworn I, I did that, okay. Okay. I, I swear, it did it again, but it doesn't matter. I'll just put in my level and we'll see what it does. It might not do... Okay, yeah. That's a little bit better. Oh, weird. You have... You have the Beatas you selected. What happened is I, I, I clicked on Calamar, then I clicked on, you know, lightning bolt damage, and then it said, who are you clicking on? And I clicked on the on the pit fiend, and then it said, you know, yeah. But I had me selected oh. when I clicked it, to begin with. I swear, I did it twice, to make sure. Okay. Uh, so um, his magic resistance uh, passed, so he takes no damage. Yeah, I figure. Um, but you do get uh, 150 points um, because you've discovered that they are not uh, the the pit fiends are not immune to lightning. Okay. Uh, next up is Asher two. Uh, will unsuccessfully try to bite the thing. Okay. Um. All right. So.
Alright, so Gromnar is sort of uh, running away. And uh, he hears this flap, flap, flap. And there's like a spray of dust that comes up in front of him. And suddenly a pit fiend appears uh, in front of Gromnar. Go ahead and roll a saving throw versus... Uh, what was it? One staff rod uh, to Is save against his fear aura. You're gonna need to since Gromnar is already under a fear. Of um, this will overwrite the old Me. fear effect because it's from the other um, pit fiend. Gotcha. Uh, versus rod staff for one. Or suffer a minus four penalty to attack rolls and minus two penalty to dexterity for two rounds. Oh no, that's a symbol of pain. Okay. Um, I think it's just rod staff one flat. Yeah, go ahead and roll that. Uh, Sorry, I, I needed to see what the plus was. This giant winged gargoyleish looking red skin. All right. Um, so you're able to save. Okay, and go ahead and remove your fear symbol. Even though, okay, I am just clarifying here. He was feared by the one inside the wall of fire. That so is correct. Because he passed, he passed against this one, it negates that one. That one is overwritten by this one's fear aura, and you pass your save against this one's fear aura, and your fear is now gone. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that's what I was hearing. Yep. Um, and the... Uh... Oh, let's see if my voice changer will load. Is my voice changer working? Yep. 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 Give us a kiss, little ogre. <laughs> Says the pit fiend. Alright, next up is... Does that mean we have two pit fiends? Jim, yeah, there are two pit fiends. There's one inside the wall of fire and one outside. And Gromnar, just as that um, pit fiend uh, lands in front of you, you see something off in the distance in the sky. And it's pretty, it's pretty high up. Um, I'd say about 300 feet. Um, it looks like a giant eagle, right? But it has something hanging off of its tail feathers. Like something is grabbed, literally grabbed onto its tail feathers. And it has something in tow. Uh, go ahead and roll, I guess, uh, Wisdom minus eight. I mean, not wisdom, intelligence minus eight. Jesus. Yeah, intelligence minus eight. Okay, so you want me to just roll a d20 because that's only a pass on a one? Uh, sure. Okay. I mean, literally, his intelligence is an eight, so that makes it a zero. Oh, that actually makes it no chance to, um, to pass. Um, okay, next up is Jim. 
who is... He's out, he's outside. Okay. So I'll put you outside. And then just think, Romnar is an Einstein level ogre with an intelligence. <laughs> okay. So you should it's be my... outside now. Yeah. Okay, so he's able to see this whole thing with the, the fiend and and Gromnar. Uh but he's mainly holding in order to uh he's able to. Um he's just going to He's gonna hold action. Okay. But he's he's gonna kinda w turn around and watch what happens here and look for an opening. Okay. Um inside the tower on uh moves in to bite something. Um, oh, you know what, um, On is going to walk right over the bed, you mean crawl, scuttle, scuttle over the bed, <laughs> um, or past the bed, really. Um, onto the wall. Okay, onto the ceiling. And he is actually going to take falling damage to land right next to Ceres. Um. No, he's not. Let's see, he started over. Whoops. All right. Uh, he is going to uh, come up behind this uh, this jerk that just stabbed um, Cirrus and uh, bite him. That's yeah. Amazing. Attack. Giant spider That's form a good bite. Friend. Okay, um of course the guy turns to face him, so front. Shorter melee, same elevation. Uh on is not under the influence of any spells. So no mods. didn't work for some reason. Let's see. Let's make sure On has his weapon table filled out for the bite. He does. And I know these guys have been attacked. Oh, there it goes. On Sunzer hits negative five for six damage against the scout. No poison, though. No poison. <sighs> yeah, so he can die in eight hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up is a scout. I don't know. If I find instant death ah. poison way more common in this game. So that is the um, scout that uh, just got bitten. Uh, he's going to withdraw. Actually, he's going to withdraw. Am I a camel? Two, three, four. 
four, five, six. Just gonna withdraw that way. Uh, next up is another scout. Uh, this one is going to um, try to use the treasure as um, concealment to hide. So checks skill hide in shadows. Come on. Dice rolls are taking a long a long time today. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so he seems to be acting all sneaky, um, but you can see him plain as day. Uh, there we go. Next up is Cirrus. I can't color spray without blinding on, can I? Without blinding on? Yeah. Uh. It's a cone, starting from my hand. Um, that's probably true, but what if you took a five foot step to a different square? Well, I took a five-foot square, to, a step to that square. Uh, what it about was here. Uh, what about what about a different square? Like uh, I guess I can still color spray this guy. Um. May I suggest, as a mage, uh, read your spell and take into consideration the question you're at. What do you mean by that? Roll the spell token and read it over. Like, for example, the whole parts in there where it talks about target hit dice, target levels, and then rethink your question. You may not even need to ask. Oh, they just get, he gets a saving throw. Mm -hmm. So it's not automatic. Uh, it's a 5 by 20 by 20 wedge. And depending on what level he still is, he may not even need to make a save throw, depending on whether he's higher than Cirrus or Says well, um, anyone that's gets... higher than Cirrus or higher than 6 um, gets an actual saving throw. Anyone below that doesn't. Um... That's 5, 10, 15, 20. There you go. And you get to maneuver that in any way you want. How do I turn it? Um, there's a, there's a there's a stick. Oh, there. That's yeah, there out. it is. Okay, and oh, then there's God. also the E key and your mouse wheel will allow you to turn it. And, uh, spell effect only uh, affect creatures whose squares are covered by at least half of the AoE. Yeah, so I have to hit. Okay, let me, uh, let me show you something here. 
Yeah. The wall and block me. So if you take a five foot step here. Okay, and you here. cast it. Like that. Right? You're you're oh, not yeah. you're not covering half of On's square and you yep. hit your scout. The one you okay. were trying to There you go. Just didn't okay, want so, to, to waste it if I didn't have to. Yeah, you kind of do spray it at the wall, but at least you're getting your your scout. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what. Okay. Left um, where I is. And he gets a saving throw. There's a spell. Um, he's not under the influence of anything. So no modifications. And he makes the passes to save. Bummer. Okay. Um, but he can't really tell if you notice him or not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next up is Onras. Well, when he's done ratching, I guess someone not only was in Congress with, or the hell that was, but appeared to enjoy it enough to call it a lover. He's just going to start carving his way to the priest in question. So half move, let's lower the action economy by getting in a scimitar swing. Front, acceleration, the huge bonus to hit, bonus to damage. One for nine points. Okay, um, to this scout right here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it, it turned to face you. It's not... Oh, yeah, I, I assumed front. Yep. Okay, uh, nine points. Okay. Minus nine, enter. So you can see that hurt him really bad, but he's still alive. You can right tell by his off. health bar. When you're done making a five foot step, you gotta go back, Sirius. I know. I was just trying to see what was happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I think he's dead now. So I got this big wall in yep. front of me. Hell Most definitely. Yeah. Go ahead and describe um, how you slay your enemy with your uh, Ruby Claw. Oh, well, fog on the first strike. Or else it's like a diagonal slash across his chest, opening up a wound, opening up like a seam just above the stomach. He then he then jams his claws in the center and drags down, spilling entrails all over the ground. Okay. Blood seeps through the stone. And I still have one attack, and I have movement left. Is it, does Brian do it slow last, or is it, does it, is it gone? Uh, it lasts for two rounds. Mage isn't dead. The caster isn't dead. It doesn't require concentration, so it, it lasts no, regardless of whether or not he's dead. <laughs> oh, it's exactly. Uh, let's see. Um... Kill count. Well, that would be left Ruby Claw, but eh, they do the same damage. Scout one. Uh, 
Okay. So that was against the uh, no oversteer. oversteer. Okay. Yep. You hit exactly, doing six damage. Um. Okay. The overseer survives. With the expectations, but hey, er damage is damage. Every point counts. Okay. And then uh, let's see, Brian Jerry just slowed this round. Um, doesn't have an action, but you have half move, right? Slowed creatures can move at half their movement rate, but only have actions every other round. Or have actions at, you know, half their normal rate. But you can still move at half. Okay. Uh... Anbu, who is outside. So I'm going to take Cirrus to the other map. Actually, I'm going to take all the players to the other map. There we go. I just have to say, I applaud teachers around around the country because teaching a first grader the the uh, the concept and trying to grasp the concept of contractions is extremely difficult. My God. Mm. All right, and we are outside. So what's Anbu doing? Uh, Anbu is gonna pick up his sword. Is that an action? Uh, it's a half move action to pick something up. Fiend's kind of surrounded. I can't really get in there, so he's just gonna stand ready to attack if he has the opportunity. Okay. So he recovers his sword. All right, the Beati Zoo. Um, he is going to uh, withdraw through the fire Some dead creatures here. Let's see. Was it finally dead? Why did that not work? Dead. Oh, because I have P3 animate dead? Okay.
All right, so approximately Um, we have zombies here. So you guys can hear this like, uh, 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 coming from the other side of the fire. And, uh, this, um, this voice in some foreign language, um, says something like, And, uh, there are definitely zombies milling about. Uh, let's see. Counter. Zombie. Oh, not there. So normally animate dead takes like a long time to cast, but this is an innate spell like ability that um, pit fiends have. Um, bodies, right? I always say. No. Chazzy's up top and she's looking over the wall of fire and he's going, Ew! Making yeah. zombies! <laughs> okay. Um, next up is a scout that is inside. Turn this track way up. Can barely hear it. Um, that's all the way up.
All right, so on the inside, there's a scout uh, who is going to try to sneaky sneaky. Uh, let's see, checks, uh, skill, move silently. Do 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 do. Come on. All right. Oh. All right. So this um, scout crawls out from underneath the bed. Uh, everyone can see him. He looks like he's, you know, trying to be sneaky. Um, and he's like crawling and crawling across the floor, past this ottoman, right behind the giant lizard. Tries to backstab it, but obviously can't because the giant lizard sees it. And only gets a regular attack with his broadsword against the giant lizard. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, and the giant lizard does not turn to face because that would be dumb. So rear. Uh, short. Or sorry, melee. Same elevation, no mod, and no mod. And now the scout knows that it's failed its save because the lizard act like, you know, haha, I see you, you can't backstab me. Or I hear you, or whatever. Come on. Come on. AC zero, holy shit, for uh, five damage to Rock. Rock is looking hurt. He's about halfway down. Uh, next up is Illuvio, who is outside, right? No, he's on the... Yeah, I just took over left. He's going to be jogging to try to catch up. Okay. So he's gonna two I want seven squares and I get to go up on the next level. Okay. <coughs> okay. Oh hi there. Um, hi. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. You guys have killed one scout so far, right? Yeah. Eleven. He's going to, he has seen shit. Um, he's going to go over here. That's back down the stairs. Oh, sorry. Then so fine, he'll go over you're right here. here. And I will put my back against the wall. And pull Thanks. out my bow for next time. Alright, um, was that over a half move for you? Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, next up is Karen Lore, Who is. He is. Now he's in. Oh, he's in? Okay. So he is going to run over here. Roll for his speed. Uh, so I'm in. I said run, but I meant job. Um, and he is going to kind of this camel a second, and then he's going to attempt to mount it. Okay. Um, mounting it just takes an action. That's all. Oh, so he does. Okay. 
and then that that ends his turn. Okay. All right. So back outside, you guys should all be able to see who this character is. So, uh, Gromnar, this, this character that you see off in the distance, about 300 feet up, um, approaches at the, the speed of a, a giant eagle, uh, which is 48 squares. And uh, he lets go of the um, tail feathers of the eagle and commences a dive attack on the Beatizu. And uh, while he's diving, you guys can hear him like shout out, um, It's me, mate! And he actually changes form mid dive. We like him. <laughs> Who's got who can who can who can take him as follower? Come on. Ooh. It's Anatar, and, uh, boys. There's hope. There's Anatar. <laughs> he turns into this. Uh, so he did. Uh, pretty much everyone can see him at this point. Um, I'll. Hang on a second. He did look like... He did look I'm like so this. He did look so like excited. this. I'm about to die. So he looked oh like God. he looked like a like a little high elf guy in azure clothing. So now he he changes form and um, he grows about 3 feet. So now he's about seven feet tall. And, Holy uh, crap. He looks like this. And this, um, uh, bright light emanates from his face, and it's kind of hard to look on him now. Um, this weird celestial light. And you can see, um, from his hand, from his right hand, um, sprouts a uh, sword-like plane of light. And then in his left hand um, he draws a second uh, longsword. And um, he takes a dive at this uh, Beatizu. And he dives uh, 30 feet. So at a 45 degree angle, and uh, the Beatizu turns to face him. Okay, so uh, Gromnar, you can take an attack of opportunity if you like on the Beatizu's um, rear side. Well, I, I kind of had plans for my turn, so I, I have to ask you if this attack of opportunity would fall into those, because he snapped out of it. He had every intention of spearing this thing and trying to take it. Go ahead and make your attempt. Hmm. 
what is a pit means natural AC? Um. Yep. Negative five. You'd have to roll 18 or higher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but at any rate, um, this uh, celestial looking creature uh, with this glowing face um, comes within uh, 30 feet of the Beati Zoo. And uh, this weird, like, Glowing aura from his face sort of strikes the Beatizu in the eyes. And, uh. He has to. Oh, Anatar! Uh, roll of state versus state. Yeah. returns. Oh! That is so much more exciting. You don't know what he's done from a heart. Oh my god! I heard you guys talk about him, so I'm excited too. Yes, oh. It's, it's too bad you couldn't know the guy who played him because then he'd be perfect. Yeah, you was know, fun. none of us can none of us could ever do him justice, you know? Nope. None of us could do him justice. And again, he had like golden race, golden stats. I will say it was not hyperbole. He again, he is stronger than Baron. Like in almost every way, it's yeah. it hurts, and he it's killed, also he, he killed an avatar of a god. Yep. This guy, this guy. So yeah, does anybody have any 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 um, henchmen? <laughs> what, what level is he? He's high. It has to be one of the um, other ones. I've already got my life long. Oh uh, yeah. Too high, too high for Cirrus, I think. What level is Cirrus? Eight. Yeah, too high for serious. I'll shoot my shot. <laughs> oh, it'd be fun with you too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make it a uh, signature over spell for now because I can't really find the information. I have a mistake. When I get back, and if I'm high enough level. I will hench him. I will. If Asher doesn't get him first. Hmm. Asher doesn't get him first, indeed. Hmm. But it's nice to know there is someone else who can in case she fails. Yeah. Yeah, and of course this happens when I'm just not there, which hurts. Uh -huh. It does hurt, I can imagine. Yeah, I'm sitting here going, okay, I want to wish, I want to wish for more charisma so I can take him as my, as my henchman. <laughs> yeah, that, that, who cares about anything okay. else? I only want charisma. So the Beatizu successfully saves versus Anatar's gaze attack, uh, which essentially strikes fear into the heart of uh, evil creatures. Um, and Anatar pretty much... Um, completes his dive by striking the Beatizu with both his um, light-shaped plane of light and his offhand um, longsword. Okay. I love Anatars. I love how he handles his business, man. <laughs> Wait for the attack roll first, jeez. <laughs> so, front, melee, higher ground, uh, plus two for charging, 
And no damage modifier. Uh, the target is evil. There's a lot of calculations being made right now. And uh, sharpness weapons. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, oh. His static go should be way higher than 20. Oh, wait, never mind. What is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. You know what? I'll leave it to you, Josh. Yeah, that's up to you. I cannot make that's heads not or tails a of that. Valid. It's not a valid roll. <laughs> um. Yeah, thank God, no. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Miscellaneous handouts. Character sheet. Do, 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 do. Jesse can stay. Oh my god. Jesse can see him. Jesse's next turn is going to be awesome. Uh, Jesse Hedge for Antar? She was a, a player. Shoot. Okay. Uh, and they were like peas and carrots. You know, yeah, yeah. She 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 has the man the manatar crush. Okay, uh, <laughs> one more time. All right, front melee, higher ground, plus two for charging. No mod. Uh, the target is evil. I think I know what the problem is. Character sheet. It is a small coding problem that I can fix easily by deleting a couple of brackets. And the rest of us we can just freak out the Anatars back. Oh my god! I cannot wait for the rest of you to meet him. Oh my god! Front, melee, higher ground, plus two. I'm gonna copy that plus two just in case this doesn't work. Yes, the target is evil. There we go. What? No. No. <laughs> oh, you know it is? There's one additional plus that shouldn't be there, I think. Yeah. It's like okay, let's three eliminate. plus plus. That's where it is. Eliminate that plus. That plus is actually supposed to work because the time is one, but oh well. All right, so. Front, melee, higher ground, plus two, plus zero. Yes, the target is evil. Go baby, go baby, go baby. Should be a metric fuck ton of damage. There we go. Alright. Um, yes! So, he oh. actually fails to hit, because I rolled a 7. But as Aww. you can see, it would have been 31 damage. 
And he also gets yep. his offhand sword. Attack. Uh, oh, okay, I need to slide it up, yep. actually. Antar is strong. Now, when we were with him, he didn't really show all his powers. He was he was just a common, you know, he looked just like an elf, and he didn't do anything. But, yeah. Uh, but when he needed to, he did. Yep. If it were for the existence of Thrashship, Editor would be unabashedly the most powerful member of the group. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just unabashedly. Unabashedly, yeah. And, yep. you know, I, I, I love that he walked around That's just like a normal person. Melee, oh, so great. higher ground, plus yeah, two, two, plus zero. <sighs> How anticlimactic is this slow rolling? There we go. Negative six for 12 damage. And I don't think his race is immune to fear. Um, so he needs a saving oh, no. throw versus uh, rods. And he sort of like lands, but hovers at 10 feet. Um, so he is just straight up hovering there at 10 feet. Okay. Um, so Rod, and he gets a plus two. when he got All that right. owl, remember? Yeah, he, he saved. Alright, and uh, he goes, um, he just says, I'm back, mates! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next up is Dean. Alright. I believe this is round, oh, I need to go back to the um, inside map. Yep. Thank you very much. All right, I believe this would be. Yep, Dean's gonna be working himself up. And can can camels climb stairs? Yes. Yeah. These this camel will be climbing those stairs then. Okay. That's like the nine question, squares, I think. The question is, can camels walk downstairs? <laughs> We're about to find out. Yeah, it was nine squares. Going to use that. Then I'm going to climb up the um, stairs with Frumpy on back. And Dean's going to be, you know, working himself up. Okay. Uh, did you want yeah, to go his... up to the second floor? or? Yes. Give me back to the second floor, please. Yeah. You know, his face is starting to turn a little red. He's grinding his teeth. Yeah, give yourself Clenching the uh, little music symbol thing. Oh, yeah. To show that you're uh, singing a song. And you kind of pass by Asher and Tirana <clears throat> singing this ultra-violent berserker song. You hear the words, 
bloody skulls and crunching bones as he rides up. Asher kind of smiles and says, good luck! <laughs> and where is he now? Oh. Dean is that far along. He has 12 more squares. That's another... That's another 9 to get to the stairs. So, uh, th uh, third level, 3 more squares. Okay. Just go ahead and move all the way to the top of the stairs. That way I can put you in the right place on the, the other map. All right. Like move as, move as far as you can. There you go. And then up to the third floor. First stanza is complete. And Dean's skin is like um like a savage manic um it was it was you know normal healthy pink skin but now it's like a dark almost savage um red as though he as though he were dying from suffocation yeah and being burned by the sun at the same time yeah just and had been really really tan before being burned just Do you have any movement left? That's as far as he can go. Okay. But when the next round comes up, well, he'll still be working himself up. But in time, in time. <laughs> okay, next up is Asher. Let loose the dwarfs of war. <laughs> so, Hell yeah. On, on Tirana's last turn, she held out uh, a hand to help Asher mount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Asher is going to take two steps to take her hand and mount the camel, and will then, uh, okay. guess, moves with Tirana. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So and look, we go. see, Tirana's I'm just... she. She pats Tirana on the shoulder and says, "Let's go. There are backs that need stabbing." <laughs> Hell yeah. Gets it. Is it Tarana's turn? Yeah, it's Tarana's turn. Okay, um, she's going to. I'm going right to the right, right? Okay. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think that right is nine. Out of how many? 18? 15? Something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so she needs to be moved to the next area of the map. Sure as well, please. And you can see, as you pass through this floor, there are beds set up, or yeah. cots, 
Um, on the other side of the door, there's the NPCs sort of standing there. Um, yeah, she'll ignore yeah. them. Yeah. Um, can she, can she, um, can she jog? Uh, not without, um, camel riding. Yeah. Efficiency. That's fine. That's fine. Still, we're getting up there faster, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up is Gromnar back outside. Who gets another attempt at, um, tackling the pit fiend. Uh. Does this thing have a weapon of any sort? Uh, it has this big ass mace. Boy, this is either gonna be really stupid or really cool. Um, I wanna try and grab its mace. <laughs> okay. At the very least, you know, hinder its swing at, at the best, you know, pull it out of its hand. Um, what option would I use for that? The grab op? Grab, yeah. And, um, are, are you, is your character armed right now? Like, do you have anything in your hands? Nope. He never drew a weapon because he knew okay. his weapons would thing. So you have your swords in the scabbards. Alright. All right. <laughs> character to have a hand free to grab. Okay. DM button. Choose the target. We have to do uh, miscellaneous adjustments. You have uh, what plus uh, plus three? Plus three from spells, yes. And I believe it's from the rear. I don't know if that makes a difference, but um, yeah, yeah, it does. I'm gonna give you an additional uh, plus two, so it'll be a total of plus five. Um, Beatizu's miscellaneous adjustments gonna be plus zero. So this is an opposed roll. You're trying to strike AC zero, and he's trying to strike AC four. To uh, okay, so both were successful. Uh, character attempting to grab the item must make an opposed roll against AC zero. So it should be whoever rolled higher wins. Uh, Gromnar rolled a 10, Beatizu rolled a 15, so Beatizu basically, um, like, kind of dodges the, the weapon from your hand for the whole round. Fair enough. I mean, I can't really think of anything better that Gromnar can do other than try to, you know, slow it down. And it says, it says, um, psychically in your mind... What the fuck are you doing? Get away from me! <laughs> uh, okay, so end of round. End of round. Anatar is on the ground, so I'm going to take away his little dive flight symbol thing. Only um, for uh, I try and wrestle. Arahil, I think, only flew, um, like, 16 squares to get there, so he's going to continue south a really fuck long ways. Like, probably down to... Probably about here. All right, and then everyone can roll initiative, and I'm sorry for interrupting you, Paul. What did you say? Oh, I... I saying only Gromnar would try to wrestle and, and grab demons' weapons. 
Oh, it's the straight up devil, dude. It's, it looks like Satan himself. Yeah. Let me know when you move the uh, view to inside the uh, Oversized goat horns, hooves, over, uh, goat horns, hooves, and spade tail and all, right? Um, yeah, Bright Turret, I'm just gonna keep you on the inside. Because you're only. Oh, yeah, right. you have two characters. Yeah, I, I, I already done. I ordered you all did, Dion? Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. <coughs> oh, um, Anatar gets another attack with his, uh, uh, weird plane of light sword. Can I have three? Can, no, can I move to the other map, please? Sure. I'm done outside. I need to go inside. Sarah's too. Is there anyone outside who is not done? Yeah, me. Give me one second. Um, so Jim can't see the zombies out here. Where he is, can he? Um, I'm not seeing it myself. Probably not because of the wall of fire. Oh, they're on the other side. Well, I'm just gonna roll that. Okay, I'm done out there. Jesus, that damage if he hits. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Just, that's the tricky part. Hitting. I mean, an AC of negative five is no joke. Mm hmm. Yep. Even with. Yep, Varen would have a, with his, well, with his sword, a 50-50 shot of hitting, a be a, hitting that, hitting a negative five. And this is why you go giant hunting, not demon hunting. These aren't demons. Devil hunting. Well, Boogie I, I, World's initiative is so simple. All he, every time, I'm gonna beat him with my axe. Or if I beat him with my morning claw. That's it. That's it. I will say again, if Gromnar levels up, his next proficiency will be in trident, since we have that nice new trident that's very powerful looking. So this situation never comes up again. He's used. <laughs> As, as more than just, you know, trying to grapple the damn thing. But, you know, the grappling's worked so far, so, you know. I think it's funny how, you know, he's going each one, you know, from one to the other, trying to grab shit out of their hands, trying to mm -hmm. wrestle. But God, it feels so useless.
Can Olivia have a second attack? Uh, yeah. He's, which floor is he on? He's on the top floor. I believe, oh wait, no, no, you don't have to do it because he did last time, so that's great. Never mind. Uh. Gonna delete my cookies. About 287 megabytes worth of cookies. Everyone say hello to Aqua Alex in chat. He's here with yeah, us. Aqua Alex. Hello. Hi. What's, up? What's going on, Alex? <laughs> okay, my cookies are gone. Let's see if I have any apps that are running inappropriately. Uh, yeah, text input application. Photos don't need that open. Don't need the settings open. And we're good. That dropped me out of the red. All right. It's my latency is dropping. All right. Um Okay, the overseer. Uh, looks like the overseer starts casting. What was he casting? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, come on, roll the die. <clears throat> Roll 20 dice are taking a long time right now. There we go. Anatar's multiple attack. I forgot to do that. 
Sorry this is taking a long time. I just, uh... I didn't lose you guys, did I? No. No. Okay. We're, We're still here. You... And... Anatar... Well, that's bad. There we go. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Nope. That's, <laughs> that's his multiple attack. Hi, Josh. Did I not roll his initiative? No. Um, no, I actually just checked. That's for the inside initiative, rather. I think roll 28 my initiative roll. There it is, 10.62. Yep, well, 20 definitely ate my initiative roll. For what character? That would be for Onras. See it on uh, there. One, 10, 10, yeah, 10, 10, yeah I, that's because I just rerolled it. Oh. Enter. And it did for D2. This might be a me problem. Give me a second. Uh, Dean is on 13 point, uh... Yeah, he was at that last round. Okay. Yeah, I'll just stop. Yeah, I think roll 28 my inputs. It does that sometimes. Yeah, it's rolling slow, so you have to wait for it to roll. Alright, so I'm guessing I was the last horse to cross the finish line, so here we go <laughs> to ascending. Okay. Alright, so purple dot is the overseer's uh spell okay uh gold dot is calmar's jump pink dot is jim's sanctuary um time now is 4 38 um in the afternoon february the second 1185 <clears throat> uh green dot is righteous wrath of the faithful um, Cornugon's Wall of Fire can burn without the Cornugon even being alive for four more rounds. Uh, blue Dot is Lazarus's Prayer. And Red Dot is Moore's Recitation. Uh, Gromnar's Fear is gone now. And Jim's Prayer ends at the end of this round. Uh, which I think was overwritten by someone else's prayer anyways for a lot of characters. So yeah, that there might just be matter. one or two. But... Yeah, it got um, ran over by Lazarus's prayer, which was, well, better because our levels. Okay, Brian Jurid is slowed. And I don't think I put the uh, round marker on there, so it's at no, negative one now. Okay, and then um, first up is Asher. Take movement with Tirana, please. To the, to the inside? Whenever Tirana moves, she's going on that camel. Oh, right, right, okay. Uh, Jim. Oh, Jim is outside. Good, you're already on it. And so he is going to... Big gems. <laughs> Around to try and get a look at the zombies he hears. I never did install those new zombie tokens. I have way better tokens for zombies now way like video game good okay so Jim um into the tent is that oh is, is that a tent I thought it was just a ring my bad okay. yeah that's a tent Uh, yeah, he's, uh... No, 
ஆரவணைக்கிறது ready to cast on his next turn hey josh yeah um i have to help weigh the puppies real quick if gromnar's turn comes up he's just gonna do the same thing try and grab the mace again if you wouldn't mind rolling for me i'd appreciate it but sure. i should be back before um if we if we get to you uh before you come back uh we'll take a we'll take a bio break all right, it's you know it makes it a lot easier for her to have a hand there, an extra hand. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, I'll be right back. In fact, why don't we take a bio break right now, um, uh -huh. and then that'll give uh, uh, Paul a little bit of extra time to weigh the puppies. Okay, so, that sounds great. We're right back in five. All right. I'm back. Welcome back. Man, how long are you slow? That sucks.
And we're back. <clears throat> Did I lose you guys? No. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry about that. We just do it around this every day, and, you know, it's for health reasons. Yeah, it's understandable. We do the same thing with um, kittens. Yeah, but we're done. I'm back. Sorry about that. She, she can do it alone, but it's a lot easier with four hands than two. Yeah. Okay, and the music disappeared. Rule 20 needs to do something with this jukebox. Uh, beans, boom. Okay, own Ross. <coughs> oh, I didn't ask uh, if James was back. James, are you there? Mic check. <clears throat> 